Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Mark and today I'm doing a special Ninjago Lego coal for my nephew Chase. He recommended this and wanted me to draw it for him. So I am doing that right now. This is for you, Chase. Here we go. So, I'm gonna so what I'll do is I'll start in the middle of my page, but towards the right. And we'll draw a line coming down to the left. And we'll draw another one just to the left of that. And then we can draw a line that connects the bottom there. From here, we'll go across. This will be the bottom of his, his chest area. We can come up a little bit and then we'll draw another line and we'll extend this over the edge a little bit there. We'll come up and hook over for the shoulder area. We'll complete the line on this side and going up in this direction, just like that. Over on the right side, we can do the arm. So I'll create a curve, comes down like this. We'll create another one in that direction. And then over here, this will be a joint area, his elbow. So I'll create a little line like that using my thinner ink pen. And then we'll extend this down and we'll come down over here. And then we'll connect this. This is where his wrist is, his end of his, his arm. Now for his hand, I'll create two lines that extend off. And I'll do this upside down U shape right over here. Do like this. And on this side, come like that. And then we'll create this shape over here and then it'll hook over and connect just like that. And then on this side, this will end shorter. Can come over to the other side, create the other shoulder like this, extend this down like that. And then where that elbow bend is, just come up a little bit and then we'll extend these like this. Same for the top. And then we'll curve that line and connect those two ends. Now over here, I'm going to leave this for a second and we'll come back to the head area. So right here, I'm going to go from this shoulder and I'm going to come across and I'm going to have a slow curve like that, that touches that other shoulder and extends past. I'll create like a neck line and then we'll go up towards the head. What we'll do here is we'll curve up and we can draw the eyes in place right now. So what I'll do is, Coming from this, the eyes are going to be on the right side slightly. So um, for this, I'll use my thinner ink pen here. So I'll draw a circle and then another one inside of it. And I'll do one over here. And I'm just going to draw the full circle. But what's going to happen is my eyebrows are going to go through. So I'll come up and over like that. And then over here, this eyebrow will cut through the eye like that. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to color the eyes in along with the eyebrows all together. So those will all be one color. Okay, and then around the head, create a line 
like that on the right side. And then we'll create a line that starts over here, comes across, dips down. And we're just going to reveal his eyes like this and we'll come back up and we'll meet up like that. And now that we have the eyes in place, we can draw the rest of the head. So from over here, I'll create a line that comes up. Let's do another bend. And then kind of round the top of the head. And then over here, there'll be like a curved shape. So like his head covering has a lot of folds in it. So these will all kind of like bend a little bit. And then this back part hooks over to the to his back. And then if you want, you can add some more detail lines. I'll use my thinner marker for this one. Hooks across like this. Have one just above the the eyes. Now we'll come down and we'll do the legs. I'm going to start in the center and create a rectangle shape in the center there. And then his belt which is this shape right here, has a knot and then two pieces that hang off. So we'll draw one piece like this that's hanging off and we'll draw another one on the right side. And these can have like little detail lines in the middle of them. We'll draw a circle like this that connects and then we'll draw a smaller one. So it's more of a, an elliptical shape, like an egg shape. So it's not a perfect circle. And then back here, we'll create a line that comes down and then we'll curve the next line. We'll come out and then down. And then now we'll come down towards the right of our page for here and up here. We'll connect these two ends and then we'll come We'll use the bottom of the foot so this will come straight across and then it will kick up towards the left just a little bit. Then you can connect these two points like that. And then over here this will curve and meet into that circular shape that we drew in. And then from this point here we can create a curve and that hooks back a little bit. So we'll do the same, we'll come down like this, we'll curve and have a rounded shape and then we'll go towards the bottom right of our page and then we'll come down. Then what we can do is we'll come over down to the left and we'll do that for this piece, we'll connect those two, then here we can come to the left going upwards a little bit and we'll do the same for this piece here. Then we'll join these together and then right here we'll have a curve that's similar to this curve. So we'll curve like that and then we can put a circular shape in here. So again this is kind of a, an elliptical shape come down and leave a little bit of space to, to have a vertical line like that. I'm just going to use my thinner marker, draw a line like that, one there and one there. So what I'm going to do is right here, I'm going to draw these eye shapes, so it's kind of like these diamond forms and then from the eyes we'll have couple like squiggly shapes. You'll have kind of like this little bump that comes out and then comes back in this direction. And then this shape here will come down and have like a fang that comes up. So we'll have these like fangs below will come up and you'll just do the same on the other side. And since this comes into the jacket here, we can come down and just have these forms like 
like that. We're going to create an S curve. So right up here where his shoulder is, we'll come down and this will continue through, imaginary line continuing through, and then this will hook down this way. And then we'll come like this, and we'll come right about here, and we'll create another curve. And then right here, we'll create this bumpy shape coming from the head form. We'll do another one in this direction. It goes right to the edge. We'll do one that's inside of this shape here. Like that. And then we'll do another one that goes from this corner and this just runs right off the edge as well. And then we'll have one last one right up here. And we can create some like detail wrinkles in the in the outfit come down here into the belt so we'll draw the knot in the middle what we can do is come up to the left we'll come up to the right we'll draw a line in the middle that doesn't quite go all the way up and then create a shape that dips down and another one like that and create another shape like this and another one that just comes down. So that's kind of like our knot that's tied up. And then we'll create some like creases in the belt over there. We can put a couple more on this side. Let's go and finish off the sword that he's holding here. So I'm gonna create his hand on this side. So I'm gonna go off of the arm and I'm going to do a shape that comes like this and it dips down and then it hooks back up like that. And then right here, my sword is going to be going in this direction. So what I'll do is I'll do two lines and then I'll extend those and connect them with a round shape like this. Now over here, it's going to be a little bit thicker shape. So this shape I have down here, I'll create like this and I'll do another one here. So you can see it's, I've extended it beyond the handle part like that. And then now I'm going to go back to this shape, which is narrower like that. And then we can complete the ring shape like this. Now let's not forget the other hand that you can see that the fingers on the other side. So we'll just create this like this pointy shape like that. So that's kind of him clasping that handle. And now over here, we can just go all the way up. So try to draw a straight line. You can, you, you can use a pencil as a ruler or you can use a ruler and just go straight across like that. So depending how much extra paper you have, you can make the sword longer or shorter. And then we'll just round this and we'll end it like that. I'll add in a couple more creases for where the neck is. We just completed Cole from Ninjago. Um, thanks Chase for recommending this. I really had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you enjoyed it. Now let's go and color him in.
So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed my drawing of coal from Ninjago. And thanks to you, Chase, for recommending this. If anybody wants me to draw anything, just put it down below in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as I can. All right, please like the channel and subscribe to it. I greatly appreciate it and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.